the main thing, and I think you're all going to want to chime in, is Stray. It's actually called Cat Game. The Cat Game, Cat Simulator, <laughs> 2000. That's good, wasn't it? Cat right, game. on to the main feature. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I've been looking forward to it for quite some years, and it did get it got delayed last year as well, and it just out of the blue kind of dropped within the last couple of months. Like we didn't get a whole lot of warning, so it was nice. Um, mm. And I have to say, it's really exceeded all my hopes and dreams by a mile. Um, really? At its core, it is um, a 3D platformer, as you probably know, set within a cyberpunk city inhabited by robots. Um, but it seems wrong to kind of characterize it purely as a platformer, because when you do travel into the different sections of the city, you've just got loads of different gameplay elements kind of as you go along, some style, some action some puzzle solving um so with that said if you're not enjoying a certain part of the game quite so much stick with it because the gameplay will be different on the next section um there, there was one part where i was enjoying a little bit less and i was worried that it was going to continue um with that gameplay mechanic and but become more difficult and i needn't have worried it was fine it just it kind of moved it lasted on. two minutes in it <laughs> yeah two minutes and then it was gone it's not a difficult game um, there's some gentle problem solving. Nothing you're likely to get stuck on. The I did. Sequence... I had to ask you for help. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't I ask. Stuck. I gave you a gentle push in the right direction. It helped. It made me complete the game today. <laughs> oh, like but, a big I mean, off the it, shelf. It's, it's nothing. You would have got it eventually, wouldn't you? It's nothing you would have been no, stuck on for more than 10 minutes. I was minutes. walking around for <laughs> fucking ages. I didn't know what to do. But, <laughs> you were thrashing um, me bastard head. <laughs> Action sequences as well, um, they probably won't take you more than a couple of attempts. Uh, one thing I actually should mention is, and this, this worried me going into it, there's no long drawn out cat death scenes. So if you fail, the screen goes red, the, the cat drops down, you can see him, so you can see him still breathing. Oh, you um, can die? You can't be killed again. Yeah, I it just says try over screen. Yeah, well, you want to do it nine times because you'll get a yeah, trophy for it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't die. I didn't die once. Right, play it again. I got stuck. Oh, fuck's sake. But yeah, no, I mean, if it, if it was anything too harry, harrowing, I certainly wouldn't be able to deal with it. What so killed if you, if you, you then? What, what could that? you get killed by? You get killed the by little... the little Zerk things. You get killed by the drones. Don't get seen. Don't get seen. I got seen. Metal Gear Master. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, visually, absolutely stunning. Like I'm, a, I'm gorgeous. a sucker for cyberpunk stuff anyway. Um, but the colours just look so vi vivid, especially in 4K. I just want to just reach into the screen. So, uh, just that kind of scenery is just beautiful. But the the best part of the game is that it doesn't forget it's a cat game. I had the best time <laughs> just just walking around, exploring the city, talking to people, but mostly just doing cat things. Like oh, you yeah. can scratch sofas, pop off paint pots, rub against people's legs. You can trip Scratch them up. The that was my favourite bit. Scratch the carpet, trip people up. You can make biscuits yeah. on the carpet, curl up into a little ball to sleep. Um, Blue 12 absolutely understood the audience. You can't thing. shit or piss, though, can you? I no. mean, it's not a long game, so you might not need to. <laughs> no, I was going to the back of looking, the box. <laughs> I was kind of looking for, like, can I poo and make hair, a hair ball. in the poo? You should have like, oh, yeah. a hairball. <laughs> I didn't, I, I didn't enjoy chasing the, the trophies for like the just being a dickhead cat things. Yeah. Like oh, I love a, that. Like the, there's one where there's like a couple of. I'm only two trophies away from platinum in it. There's one where there's like a couple of robots that are playing like a Mahjong style game and yeah, you can jump up favorite. on the table and wreck it. Yeah. Or, <laughs> they go um, mental, don't they? Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand how the talk. robots can act more human than humans in games do. Yeah. It's or, just, oh, it's did you like. Uh, did, uh, it's not really a spoiler. Did you like the subplot that it was like. Because this is what I know, because like I said, I completed it today, and it seems like it was a, um, a lockdown analogy. I noticed from that. What, but I, what I, we I all wonder... lived through. Yeah, I did, because, yeah, I did notice that. And... and it was funny that the cat was the only free life form in the mm. entire game. I, th I, I don't like know that. if that could have just been coincidence, though, because it's, it's been in development. it's because they started in 2015. Yeah, but at the same time, the, there were oh. potentially one or two lines added in that may have just made it in at the last minute. Yeah, yeah, and I, so I, I went, when it, there, there was a few, there were a few moments where it was literally like, "I can't wait for this lockdown to be over." That kind of thing. I was like, yeah. Mm. "But yeah, I, my, I uh, went." Go on, sorry. I was just going to say, forgive my ignorance, but I assume that um, they either took a lot of film footage of cats or motion capture. I imagine the animation 
the actual cat itself was spoiled. They're all, they're all cat people that yeah. made it. They're actually, all proper cat actually, people. There is a cat. Actually, you, 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 you'll, you'll love this, Biggie. The, um, the, yeah, there is a cat. The cat that... The, so there is a cat that did the voice acting for this cat. <laughs> but the, cat. the actual inspiration for it was the developer's cats, Murtar and mm-hmm. Riggs. Yep. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, when, I first, Lala. when I first booted this, um, this game up, like both my dogs went ballistic. My cat was enraptured by it like everyone else's cat. Um, what I did, I liked that I never got chat because it is a brief game. I think it took me like four hours or something. Yeah, total. it's about a four or five hour game. Mm, I think but it took me eight because I was wandering around doing cat things. Yeah, I mean, if you if you are a, a trophy chaser, I reckon it could be a, a 10 hour game if you're really pushing. But I think I, I never got bored of any one moment because I didn't have time to get bored. And I think the pacing's fantastic I also really like the fact that because at first when I first started playing I thought oh I'm just going to be a cat that annoys people that can't talk to me but the, the, the hook where you have a little robot mate um, he he translates stuff and I'm assuming he's speaking cat back to you because you listen to him do you know what I mean because if I told my cat to go and find me a battery it wouldn't come back with a battery <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, it's sort. Of, I mean, it's not really explained. He's a and clever it's, kitty. I'm trying not to. It's probably not spoiling it, but for the same reason that he knew how to communicate with re- the robot, knew how to communicate with the other robots. I reckon he's speaking cat me. Yeah. But yeah, he's, I, I do like that. There's no real voice acting in this, apart from the cat, obviously. And at first, I thought it was going to be cat in peril because there's a big cat in peril moment at the beginning, and it really made me sad. But mm. no, it's not, is it? It's it's more a, it's more an expression of theme and um, expression of freedom, isn't it? And I fucking I think it absolutely nails that. I think I, I think it's it's an absolute lovely. It, it, it does have potential to be some people's game of the year. And it's, it's mine for sure. Yeah, I said to I Gadget can, I, last night it could be even in, in my top ten of games yeah. of all time. I can I I couldn't argue with someone for that. It 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 didn't do enough for me to like change the mold in that kind of narrative. But I again I never there were never a second I were bored, and not many games do that anymore. I think, it, I think you know it's there's a trend to make to making games as long as they can be, and it's put as many side quests and these repeatable quests. But it just goes to show that a game doesn't need to be that long. To, no, it doesn't, does it? Like there was enough of it. a story that it didn't start to drag, like you said. And mm. within maybe like four or six hours of story, it really packed an emotional punch as well. Like you don't again, need all this c- time to to bond with characters if it does everything it needs to within the t- time frame. You don't need yeah. all the extra gump. Hey, we, we, it should we, always we're be also quality seeing, over quantity. It mm. should be, but it never is. We, we we're also seeing a resurgence again of good ginger representation in game characters. Yeah, <laughs> Cal Kestis in Star Wars. We've got Cat. Good ginger. I, I like seeing it. It's good. It's good for the for the uh, medium. More gingers in games. I, pre- I feel agrees. like people I, I agree with me. Game, on that. I knew this game would be great. I literally, yeah. the first time we saw it, I said, "I'm like one of the f- games that I want to play. I can't wait for that." Just like literally it's, it's play, sensational. Playing as a it's cat. Just, just so simple of an idea, but so much fun. And the way they've nailed the actual mannerisms of a cat is yeah. The way it jumps. It, the way it lands. It, Little the bit at the very beginning where as you like he, up against he's with his family and... he's with his cat family he's the cutest thing I know. they're all just running in and out of each other like cats do they have a little fight they curl up to get oh my yeah. god you have, a little, you have a little drink out of puddles and... yeah <laughs> the beginning's sensational there's a moment quite early on when you find your little robot buddy and he's like oh I need to come with mm. you but I, I, I can't my, my batteries won't last long, so I'm going to give you a little backpack so I can fly along with you. Oh, he, when he's he puts, walking, <laughs> where he puts it. So he put, puts this kind of harness thing on the cat, oh, yeah. and, and it just, it, it just it immediately just the cat like freezes up and just flops onto the side, like, like my cat, cat does, does. If I put a yeah. harness on him, and Mine then gets up, gets up and starts walking away with like his hind legs like proper dipped for like for ten paces. It's like, yeah, these guys get cats. Like I the fucking, behavior I, is fucking brilliant. I did see I it on Twitter again. Next. Well, the, 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 you're, also, you're part of it. I did see this on Twitter where people were moaning that, oh yeah, we get a great cat game, but we haven't got a good dog game. It's like fucking hell. This is as bad as saying I don't want to play as a girl. How, how many cats have a moment? How many games have a dog sidekick? 
Okame yeah, exactly. is the best dog game. <laughs> you got Riley and Call of Duty Ghosts. What more do you want? <laughs> we have got dog games. The only cat mannerism that uh, I haven't got very far in it yet, but there's one point where it does, um, like, kind of puff up. It, well, that's the thing. It doesn't puff up. He goes up on and kind of. What's all these heckles? <laughs> yeah. This is yeah, yeah, the but heckles. The, yeah, but the fur doesn't puff up, and I was like, oh, mm-hmm. I wanted it to like. Proper girl. Yeah. Poop, poop it does on PS5, that, mate. Like when my when my um when my cat does that, like the tail goes. Yeah. Like, her yeah. tail goes from this little thin thing to just being like this massive. A weapon. Yeah, brush. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I will say that there's sorts of little manners. My, my favorite one that I encountered. It, it was it was only when Pip pointed out to us that I actually noticed he was doing it, and it's just it's such a typical cat behavior. Is um I was I was running around and I found something that I was looking for in the game, and when you're kind of exploring, his tails up. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I noticed and, um, that. Yeah, and that's that's obviously that's a sign of a happy cat or an interested cat when yes. their tail is up. And it's just like, oh, what yes. they, they have really got it down. So I'm um, I'm really yeah. happy with that. I thought it was a fucking brilliant little game. And the soundtrack soundtrack is banging some huge yeah. synthwave soundtrack, tunes in there. I was going to say that this is one of the first games I've played in ages where I didn't listen to a single podcast or anything. Oh no, it's a it. good soundtrack. I was just in best cyberpunk game ever made. Yeah, yeah, I can say that. I can absolutely say that. And the the the, the, uh, the last thing is like the little shortcuts in in the levels where you get to sit in the bucket and ride down. It'll just oh. really really cute with these little paws hanging over the oh. edge. <laughs> and it the fact that you can meow cute. at any time, even in cutscenes, and you can make the cutscenes better by meowing. Yeah. Mm. If you oh, yeah, if, if you are a cat lover though, I, I and I have a testament to this because uh, I, I Candy was playing it last night after we'd finished our D and D recording, and she was getting to the end of it and finishing, and I said, um, you know, it's a mascara warning. And yeah. I have a series of pictures of Candy's mascara getting further and further down her cheeks. <laughs> Mate, um, it got, it got, that ending got me as well. Just, now. It, just, yeah, no, let's let's talk the ending, please. Uh, yeah, I, I know. But all, <laughs> all, all I'm saying is, if you're a if you're a mascara wearer, when you get to the end of the game, make sure you take it.